The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of you follow. Come by to our new location, new facilities, and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barbershop in the old J.C. Penney catalog store. There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith. Now for the next 30 minutes, you'll be listening to the most powerful one half hour ministry that you will hear all week long. The man of God encouraging you to go to church. And now the next voice that you will hear will be the voice of Dr. L.C. Green. Hear ye, hear ye, Dr. L.C. Green. Good morning, good morning, Mr. Whitley. Thank you so much for all your kind words every Sunday morning. I look forward to hearing your kind words. And we're blessed this morning to have the superintendent here with us this morning. And Superintendent Page is here. And, uh, be with us this morning. Get over there and give us the opening prayer, Superintendent. Superintendent Page of the Father Church of God in Christ up here in 431, right here. Mm -hmm. Kind Father, we do thank you on this morning, God. We thank you for your people listening on this radio station. God, we thank you for Dr. L.C. Green and Brother David Woodley. Lord, we thank that you bless your people to get up this morning and go to the house of prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, all right. We want to thank you, uh, Superintendent, for that, for that, for that prayer. <clears throat> and uh, I heard Dr. Woodley talking this morning about your revival. Yes, sir. Uh, from the 29th to the 31st out there every night at 7 o'clock. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to invite everybody to, everybody to come out. That's this week, ain't it? Yeah, this week. Though. Yeah, it's yeah. Like you know, this month done got by me. This oh. month done got by me, man. This month done, this month done got by me. This month done got by me. I want to, I want to say good morning over to Georgetown, over there to Brother Albert Williams over in Georgetown. I want to say good morning to him. I want to say good morning to Miss Norma, Miss Holmes up there. And, that's Bobby, Bobby Gilbert's sister. I want to say good morning to and, and good morning to Bobby. Uh, well, local police, we want to say good morning to him. Let me, while I'm doing this, I understand that they had a great time last Sunday over at Mount Level. They had uh, Pastor Butler's first year anniversary, and I understand they had a great time. I was not able to make it, but I understand they had a full house. You know that they had a great, 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 great time over there, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I want to remind you, those of you who are listening, I want to remind you of Gumbo Live each Tuesday night at 6:45. Each Tuesday night at 6:45. I want to. I'm, 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 I'm especially happy today. I'm especially happy today because today is my grandbaby's first year. She'll be one year old today, and I'm on my way to Birmingham. Just as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to celebrate her birthday. And I want to thank all of you for your prayers. I want to thank all of you for your prayers. I want to thank you for your prayers, y'all. You know, y'all, those of you who remember when she was born, had a little trouble, got all kind of bad reports from the doctor, but prayer brought her through. I want to thank all of you for your prayers. I want to say... A uh, special thank you to Apostle Horn. I want to thank him very, very much. And Dr. Godfrey, all, all of y'all that prayed, that all of y'all that held my hand and walked me through this, I want to thank you. And I'm, 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 I'm Lauren Elizabeth Smith. That's her name. Caden Lauren Elizabeth Smith. I'm going, I'm going there. I'm going there today and carrying a whole truckload of birthday gifts. 
and thanking God. That's why, that's why I'm so happy every day. I'm, I'm reminded of what God has done and what God is doing and what God can do. And uh, I'm going to ask y'all again to put Brother Lee White in your prayer yes, yes. over in, in Mobile. Mobile. Y'all continue to pray for him. Uh, y'all continue to pray for him. Y'all continue to pray for Brother Lee White over in Mobile. Y'all continue to pray for him. I'm going to remind you again to go vote on November the 4th. I don't care who you vote for. You have not heard me get on this radio and endorse nobody. That's right. All I say is to go out and vote. Go out and vote. Just be intelligent when you vote. Just know who you're voting for. Don't just vote for somebody because they ask you to vote for them, because they paid you to vote for them. Don't just vote for somebody because somebody else said vote for them. You need to, you need to know who you're voting for. Amen. But whatever you do, please go vote. Please go vote on November the 4th. Please go vote on November the 4th. You know, you know, you know, uh, Superintendent Page, I don't know why it make a difference, uh, uh, but uh, people say I'm a Republican. I don't know why it make a difference. <laughs> I keep telling them I'm not, but it don't make no difference. That's right. You know, you vote, whether you're That's Republican right. or Democrat That's or what right. you are, go vote. Yes, sir. You know, I, I, I told them last week, I'm a registered Democrat. I'm a registered Democrat. But uh, I'm an independent thinker. Yes, sir. You know, you know. I may not. I may not. I may not vote party all the time. I may not. I don't know. You know, it depends on who's running. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, but anyway, I, I'm a vote. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm a vote, and so I think that's the most important thing. Uh, the vote. We're gonna talk here in a few minutes from James the fourth chapter, verse number seven, and. Me and the superintendent are going to let y'all know you can put the devil on the run. Amen. You, know, you, can, you can put him on the run. I don't know why we spend so much time with the devil. I don't know why we like to spend so much time with the devil. Uh, I want to say good morning to all of you on behalf of the Central Funeral Home. And on, 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 uh, on, uh, I, heard, I heard Dr. Woodley talk about uh, Pleasant, Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church where Harold Reynolds is the pastor on uh, November the 2nd, that's the first Sunday in November, that afternoon at 2.30, uh, they, 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 they're they having a church anniversary, 126 years of the church anniversary, but what caught my, what caught my ear is that they say that the mail course from St. John is going to be singing, and Jim Gifford is in the mail course, and, and, and Chuck the Gospel Man told me that Jim Gifford be coming home. Say he grew up out there in that area. Say he grew out there, in that, up out there in that area, out there in Abbeville. Y'all know where where uh, Pleasant Grove and Missionary Baptist Church is. And, uh, everybody know David Reddick, I believe. But all of us know David Reddick. He's some fine preacher. He's going to be preaching. He's the presiding elder of the Dalton New Falling District. He's going to be preaching again. It's going to be. First Sunday in November, that's the second of two thirty. He's gonna be out there and uh, the mail course, Jim Gifford and the mail course from St. John will be singing and, and uh, be a homecoming for Jim Gifford. Yes, sir. And so so you know, and you know when you go home you sing, man. Uh, if you go in there to preach, you preach, you show off when you go home. <clears throat> so we have a grand time out there. I want y'all to go out there. Uh, and support support that program. I'm I'm, I'm 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 doing my best to be out there. I'm doing my best to I'm doing my best to be out there. I'm doing my best to be out there. Again, uh, uh, on behalf of Central Funeral Home, we want you to know that you are you are in our you're in our prayers. You you're in our prayers, and we offer our service to you. We offer our service to you. Uh, there, there's a choice. There's a choice. There's a choice. And uh, we thank God for choice. There, there's a choice, and there's a choice. And Brother Jimmy Williams and his family would have me, would have me to say good morning to you, or uh, all of the listeners that he, he would have me to say good morning to you. And 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 he sent out, sent out his very best, and he wants you to know. That to all of you, that 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 that, 
you are in the prayers of Jimmy Williams and the staff and family from Williams Barbershop. They would want me to say good morning to you this morning. Uh, like the superintendent in um, the book of James. Yes, sir. The fourth chapter around verse number seven. It tells us that if we resist the devil, he'll flee from us. He will flee. And uh, so I, I, I want us to talk a little bit this morning uh, about that. Uh, I want us to talk a little bit this morning about that. And uh, I always, I always talk to pretend about going to church uh, because I know, I know, the, I know the benefit of uh, number one of the fellowship Amen. and uh, I know the benefit number two of us being together That's right. um, I, uh, I I know I know from my own personal experience that if the devil can get you by yourself oh, Lord. <laughs> he, he'll wear you out yes sir yes sir and uh, I know that the church one of the definition of the church is the gathering or a body of believers, and 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 Satan doesn't not like that. That's right, man. Because when we come together, we can we can encourage each other and remind each other of the power we have. Amen. And and I think one of the things that we miss as individuals, we miss understanding the power that we have. Praise the Lord. Uh, Talk a little bit about that, Superintendent, if you would, from your perspective. Talk a little bit about it uh, from your perspective, uh, putting the devil on the run. What well, it is, we have to submit ourselves to the Lord. Then we can resist the devil, and he has to flee. Yeah. And and if we if we su surrender to the Lord, and then we're going to go to the house of prayer, Mm -hmm. We're going to be around somebody that can encourage us along the way. Right. And we're going to also be in a position where we can encourage someone yeah. else. Yeah. We so going, go, going to church is a result of us being born again. It's, it's a result of, if you are born again, you're going to find a church somewhere mm -hmm. that believes the Word of God, that is teaching mm -hmm. the Word of mm -hmm. God. Now, if you've been born again, you're going to get out of that house. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't lay there. You know what I say? I say you got to go somewhere where it's been preached, teached, and lived. And live, amen. Yeah. amen. Now I believe in that. Yes, sir. I, I, I believe in that. And and and, and this is what I, this is what else I believe, uh, uh, Superintendent. You can help me with this. I believe if we teaching it, preaching it, and living it, it's going to draw the unsaved. Amen. Now that's what it's all about: drawing the unsaved. Now the mm -hmm. ones that are saved, they come to help. But the one that are unsaved, we are drawing them to the house of prayer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can need to surrender, mm -hmm. amen, to the voice of the Lord. When the Lord speaks to us, mm -hmm. the Lord is the one that draws us. Mm -hmm. We can't draw ourselves. The Lord draws us, but when he draws us, we need to surrender. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. And and and, and I, I know this. I, I know, I know that. The, the, uh, some some folks are so so spiritually weak that they give up. Amen. And and uh, and I know that we are to encourage those who and, and one of, one of the one of the problems that that we have, uh, Superintendent. I want you to talk about this a little bit. Uh, one of the problems we we have so much trouble bickering among ourselves. You know, we, we, we bicker among ourselves about stuff that, that has nothing to do with salvation. It has nothing to do with salvation. Uh, Dr. Green, you're, you're so right, you know. People will call you and want to know what comes first, the chicken or the egg. I want to know how I can get saved. Yeah. And that was all about how, what, what never going to make what comes first, yeah, yeah. the chicken or the egg. I, I want to know how to be saved. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I want to know how to go back with Jesus when He comes, because one day He's coming back. Yeah, and and, and this is this is what this is what I know. I know people are watching us. Yes, sir. They are watching us, and I tell I tell I tell everybody. I don't care who you are. There's somebody watching you. You yes, got sir. you got an influence on somebody, and I think I think that I think that we ought to use whatever we have to encourage folks to Amen. go to church. Amen. I, I think we ought. To, I think we ought to do that. I think we ought to do that, and I, I think we ought to do that. I want. I want to say. I want to say while I'm thinking about that. I always, I always think about Apostle Godfrey, and I want to say good morning to him. 
Amen. Dr. Godfrey, uh, Dr. Godfrey put up that tent, man. He'll put yes, up sir. a tent. Put it up. He'll put a tent up in a minute. And and, and that brother will, will uh, absolutely preach. Yes, sir. I want to say good morning to him. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I want to say this too, uh, Superintendent. You know, I, I consider myself, I consider myself blessed. Uh, God allowed me to be around a lot of wisdom. Amen. A lot of wisdom, and I, I try to, I try to, I try to suck it in. I try to, I try to suck it in. So I thank God for that. Thank God for that. But now let's let's go back and and, and uh, you know, I, I, people are all the time I say, well, I I would have been on time with that old devil. Mm -hmm. You know, the devil cannot hold you up unless you allow him. Unless you allow him, you put the devil under your feet. And what can anything do under your feet? Nothing. You mm -hmm. might can wiggle a little bit. But you do not let me to let the devil put you, amen, on a flight. You need to put the devil to a flight. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's simple to do. Uh, it, it's simple. My understanding, Superintendent, all we got to do is say, get thee behind me, Satan. Say, get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, and that's, that's, that's a done deal. It's a done deal, amen. Yeah, that's amen. a done deal. You, you, you know, I, I want to I, I wanna, I wanna talk about this. I want to talk about that. The young lady, um, Cassandra Gifford. That young lady, man, that young lady touched my heart. Uh, some of you read the story about the uh, about the pink tractor. You read that story? I read it. Well, that young lady in the uh, FFA, she took an old tractor. She took her time, her money, and everything, and got that tractor looking good. And got painted it pink for breast cancer. Okay. And uh, she was talking to me, as a matter of fact, Friday night, and saying that. Even though this month is almost over, she's still not gonna stop promoting breast cancer. Breast cancer. You, you understand? And and that, that that's the thing that that's the thing that that I had to think about. Now we don't mind talking about Jesus on Sunday. That's right. We don't mind talking about him. Those of us who go to church in the church, you you, you follow what I'm saying? Amen. But it don't start and stop on Sunday. It don't start and stop on Sunday. You know, I, I think we ought to talk about him every day. Every day we live, we ought to talk about Christ and him crucified. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that tractor is her testimony. And all of us ought to have a testimony. Amen. You, you, you follow what I'm saying? Amen. And, and not, only, not only should we have a testimony, we ought not be ashamed to tell our testimony. Amen, that's right. All of us ought, ought to have realized what God has done for us. And what God is doing for us. Amen. And what God will do for Amen. us. See, he's a God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And, tomorrow. and, and, and we need to recognize that. And then we need, we need to get up. We, we, we ought to have, we ought to have, we ought to have a, a testimony. We, we ought to have, a, a, we ought to have, a, we ought to have a testimony. Uh, 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 you ought to have, you ought to have a, enough insight to be able to see what God is doing for you. Amen. You know, and so, so you know, Flip Wilson got rich saying the devil made me do it. <laughs> but I'm glad when you're here to witness to, with, with me this morning that the devil can't make nobody do nothing. Make you do nothing. The devil can't make you do nothing. Unless you surrender to him. Mm -hmm. If you surrender to the devil, yeah, he'll you out. Yeah, yes, he will. Yes, he will. But it's simple, it's simple now, my understanding of reading the scripture of superintendent, it's just as simple as saying, get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Just as simple as that. Uh I I uh do you have do you have now you're gonna have you're gonna be you're gonna have a revival out of your place uh starting on the twenty ninth to the thirty first. We talked about that. Uh, at 7 p.m. Now, now most revivers have a theme. You got a theme around your revival? I don't have a theme, and I, I mm -hmm. theme on it. Mm -hmm. I want the men of God to be led by the Spirit of God. All right. Amen. So, so we can, so we can help somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, 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 we want, we want everybody to, to come out to your place. Your place is, is big enough where we, we all can go out there and be comfortable. Uh, so we want, we want you to come out there each night at seven. Uh, come out there and, and, and support this program. Uh, the church is the only place where you can go and you got an option if you want to pay or not. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You, you, you follow what I'm saying? No. I, I don't know nowhere else that you can go 
sit down and enjoy yeah. yourself and then decide if you want to pay. Praise the Lord. You, you follow what I'm saying? Amen. Because when, when that often time come by, you, you can give if you want. If you don't want to give, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? And, and, and so folk, folks ought are, folks are to go to church. They, they ought to go to church because they're going to be blessed. They're going to be blessed whether it's a revival, whether it's and, 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 and where there's a regular Sunday service, Amen. you're going to be blessed. Amen. You're going to be blessed uh, uh, because that's what God promised us. That's right. You, you understand? And and He keeps His word, so He promised us that we would that we would be blessed. We would be blessed. Now, now I, I tell people this. I tell people the radio or the TV does not take the place. Oh, no way. You, 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 you understand what I'm saying? Not do it. These, these for folks who can't go. These for the folks out there at Crown Hill. Amen. These, these are Amen. the folks for, 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 at, at Miss Holland and, and David Woodley's mother and folks out there who, who can't go. Amen. And, 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 and people who are incarcerated. That's right. This, this is not for the lazy folks who just want to sit around the home and say, well, I live, I, you know, I, I listen to you on the radio. And, 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 and I, want, I want us to, I want, I'm going to say this, uh, Superintendent, I want us to keep Antioch in our prayers. Amen. Amen. I, I want us to keep Antioch Amen. in our prayers. Uh, everybody got them on their lips. Praise the Lord. But I want them in our prayers. Amen. And that God will might be, God will might be, yeah. might be done. We want God's will to be done, so we want to keep. We want to keep Antioch on, 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 on in, in our in our prayers. We want to keep Antioch in our prayers. And 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 I tell you how you can be blessed. Uh, <clears throat> Doctor Ware and Doctor Ware comes on and uh, they talk about every every Wednesday, the twelve noon they pray. Amen. Every noon. So 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 this is this is what I learned a long time ago. I hit to ride with other people that's praying. And that gives that gives more power, more legs to my Amen. prayers. Amen. That's so 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 if you, if you if you, if you if you don't know if you, if you don't know if you don't know what to do or how to do it at twelve o'clock on Wednesdays, just say Amen. Amen means you're in agreement uh, to what is being prayed. Yes, and and you know that there are people somewhere that are, that, are, that that's praying. Amen. And you know that and 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 surrender. Surrender yourself Surrender. to God. Surrender. Surrender yourself, and and I guarantee you. I I'm, I'm gonna go back and say what the superintendent said. Once you surrender yourself to God, you'll find your church. You 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 you'll find your church. You you'll realize that you can't get it at home. And matter of fact, I, I tell you this, my brothers and sisters, if you if you think that you can get it at home, I'm gonna tell you, the devil gonna wear you out. Wear you out by yourself. Amen. You see, because you get so comfortable at home that you'll relax and you won't be alert. The Bible said you got to be alert. So we got to be alert, you see. And, 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 and the moment that you are not alert, Amen. the moment you relax and the moment you sit. I, I, I know, and I tell this all the time, I know this fellow back home who, who loved Jimmy Swaggart. And he'll, he'll watch Jimmy Swaggart on TV while he's drinking his beer. Mm. You know, and, and, and I tell him, I say, man, that, 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 you know, no, 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 that, that, that's doing no good. No good at all. That, that's doing no good. I, that, the, 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 the beer is drowning out God's word. <laughs> you, you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, so folks who think that you can get it at home. No, no, no. The Bible is correct when it say forsake not to assemble yourself together. together. Go straight one from another. One from another. That's what we got. That's what we got to do. And, and we can't, and, and, and I'm, I'm getting ready, and I'm very close. I keep promising my audience, I'm going to do a, a TV special with, with, with a, a panel where we're going to discuss the church. Praise the Lord. We're going to discuss what is the church, and, and, and once we, once we de define what is the church, then we, we need to tell everybody what's the mission of the church. Praise the Lord. And uh, I'm putting my panel together, There's a couple of more folks I'm trying to, Trying to get a hold to, and we're gonna have a special on, on on TV. We're gonna have a special on TV. We're gonna take over. We're gonna take over the TV that night. And Amen. That's what's gonna be on. Amen. And so so I'm, I'm working on that. I'm, I'm working on that. God 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 is so good that that uh, the Bible said, "Taste and see that God is good." And that's all I'm asking. I'm trying to get you to do is go out and taste and see just how good God is. 
just, just how good God is. You, you, you don't know what you're missing when you don't have a relationship with God. You don't know what you're missing when you don't even give God a chance. He's not a force for God. He's not gonna. He's not gonna force himself on you. Just like, just like every time I talk about. Central Funeral Home, I, I, I tell you that that's a choice. Amen. That, that, that's, and that's what, that's what God does. He said that that's a choice. And he said, choose me. Central Funeral Home said, choose me when you, when you got a need. And, and, and that's, what, that's what God is telling us, to choose him. Amen. He said, you, you, you got a choice, you, you know. And I want you to choose me. And that, that's who I want you to choose. Uh, 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 God didn't make us as no robots. That's right. Amen. And when he created us, he didn't create us as, as computers. We, we we got a choice. We we, we got a, just like anything else. Just like I, every time I, uh, Doctor Woodley and you and y'all, you be talking about your truck. You 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 you, you chose to yes, get sir. that kind of truck and yes, and and, and uh, it, you know we got a choice. That, that that's that's what it's that's what it's all Amen. about. And we thank God for choice. We Amen. thank God for for choice. And and I, I hope that this day. You choose to follow Jesus. Oh yes. And yes. and 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 because I know you don't know how. I I, I because you don't know how, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. The first thing you got to surrender. Surrender. Surrender to Him. Just surrender. just throw up your hands. Say, Lord, I give up. I surrender to you. Surrender. I sur Amen. you know. And and then once you surrender, then everything you have to do, you will be instructed by the Spirit uh, of how to do it. Amen. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, surrender. Yeah, and, and folks folks say all that. Well, I don't know. Well, you, that's right. You don't know. And that the first step is to admit that you don't know. That, amen. And then surrender to him. Amen. And, and, and the Bible declared that God, that the Spirit will keep you in all things. Keep you in all things. He said once, once you receive the Holy Spirit, amen. the Holy Spirit will keep you amen. in all things. It will teach you, lead you, and guide you in, in, all. in all things. And, and that's simple. So, so. So the work is not hard. The work is not hard. You know, people all the time complain how hard it is to be a Christian. But I'm here to tell you that the work is not hard. All you got to do is let the Holy Spirit have his way. All right? Yeah. Yeah. So again, I want to thank you, Superintendent, for sitting in with me this morning uh, on, on this program. And we, we're going to pray God for a success in your revival. And we know it will be a success because... It is of God, and anything God placed on your heart is already successful. It's already successful. So we're going to have to get on out the way here now. Dr. and Dr. Ware is on the way. But won't you give us a, a closing prayer before we go here? And uh, y'all remember the announcements that, that is made. Y'all remember to vote on the 4th. We'll, we'll be back before then, but y'all remember to vote. And y'all remember, y'all remember Brother White in your prayers, and there's others that you ought to have somebody, you ought to have somebody on, that you pray for every day. Every day. Uh, not only yourself, but somebody else. Give, give us the closing prayer. Amen. Please. And I just found out, you know, lately that you can pray all the time. You got to wait till night to pray. Oh, yeah, all, all the pray. time. Yeah, and sure, Lord. sure. Kind Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this program. God, we thank you for Pastor L.C. Green. And Lord, we thank you that you're going to give your people the mind to come out to the house of prayer somewhere today. And Lord, we thank you that they're going to obey your word, your will, and your way. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for wisdom and knowledge, God. But most of all, we thank you for understanding. Lord, bless your people, O oh God. Bless them in a mighty way. Look down on the sick and the shed in everywhere. And give us a mind to serve you in the fullness, because the best is yet to come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless. Pastor Green reminds all of us to go to church next Sunday. This program can be seen on Ufala TV 99 on Sundays at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. It can also be viewed on YouTube at Ufala TV 1 channel on Monday night. The next time you need a haircut, think of the barber shop with a grand tradition. Williams Barber Shop. Williams Barber Shop, proud to serve the entire community of Eufaula. Come by to our new location, new facilities, and see what it's like to be treated in style at Williams Barber Shop in the old JCPenney catalog store.
There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon-Smith, Licensed Funeral Director.